Welcome to Drawn in 60 Seconds, where I give you a rapid run-through of a topic in history. Today I'm going to explain, briefly, the complicated impact of President Kennedy on the civil rights movement. When JFK was elected president in 1960, he was able, with the public support of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., to secure over 70% of the black American vote. As Kennedy took office, expectations for his new administration were naturally high amongst the black community. As president, Kennedy made some key contributions to civil rights progress, such as appointing black Americans, notably Thurgood Marshall, to positions within his administration, encouraging his attorney general, brother Robert Kennedy, to submit so-called amicus briefs in civil rights cases, as well as publicly supporting voter registration. However, Kennedy acted cautiously. His slim margin of victory over Richard Nixon in the presidential election meant that he did not have a clear popular mandate to make sweeping civil rights changes. The Democratic Party in Congress held only a narrow majority, and those members from the South opposed civil rights legislation. With his eye on re-election, JFK was also wary of upsetting the white Southern Democratic voters by championing the civil rights cause. JFK's cautious approach to civil rights limited his impact on the issue. Kennedy failed to secure any meaningful civil rights legislation during his presidency and, because it was cut tragically short, the opportunity to see what he might have done in a second term can only ever remain in the realm of speculation.